I have a very exciting message that the Lord has placed in my heart. God has been redirecting me to this scripture in Psalm chapter 37 verse 23 where it says, The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. And it just kept ringing within my spirit because there is almost like a wipeout when it comes to our plans. He's speaking about how important it is to do the will of the Father. How important it is to just let Him lead you. Just let Him guide you. and. The, the fruit that comes out of it, the harvest that comes out of it. Specifically, I went to the book of Ruth where um, it, it's important to look at the beginning of this story. I know many people refer to this as almost a love story, but it's very important to see why Naomi had to move out of uh, Moab. And it was because she had heard that the Lord visited uh, her homeland in Judah, Bethlehem, and he had given the people bread. So after she's heard this, and of course, after losing her husband and her two sons, Naomi was going to where the Lord had visited and she had her faith in God. This is why Ruth said, let your God be my God. I will go with you. Wherever you go, I will go. So this was something that was highlighted to me is Ruth's commitment to be with Naomi. And, and he wants us to pay attention. I'm gonna let the Holy Spirit just flow. And, and I'm taking my time with this message just to emphasize how much the Lord has a reward for his people. After Ruth left with Naomi to Bethlehem and she started working in the field, there's something important that Boaz tells her. There's a lot here in this initial conversation that I was just looking at throughout the day that he tells her why she has favor in his eyes. And that is because of all the things that she's done for her mother-in-law, for Naomi. And then he says, the Lord repay your work and a full reward be given you by the Lord God of Israel under whose wings you have come for refuge. This is the real purpose of why these people are here. It's because in this land and in this time, Naomi and Ruth were looking for refuge, for bread. They were looking for a reestablishment in this place where they had heard that the Lord had visited. So it's important that when God speaks to your heart, when God shows you a certain way, even if it doesn't make sense, and if it's a silent conviction, I'm hearing blessed are those who follow his orders. Blessed are those who follow his commandments. Blessed are those who follow his spirit and who understand that he is taking care of them. Ruth herself was coming from Moab and she said, your God will be my God. And that communication and that commitment without having been there, that trust to go with Naomi was something that led her to the right place. And another aspect that's very important when it comes to this faith walk, this is just very straightforward. It's important that we don't just talk the talk, but that we also walk the walk. Uh, many Christians, many people who claim to be Christians, they say that they believe in God, that they believe in Jesus, and they say that they are saved, or they say that they are just in a place of comfort with the Lord. And it's important that we take note of the vulnerable faith in how God wants us to walk now. Faith is a little bit scary for people who are more in control of the decisions that they like to make. Faith can be a little bit scary for people who have not lost things and who are afraid of losing things or people. Uh, but the Lord has great reward. Not only was Naomi uh, a widow, but also Ruth. And, and there was a loss and a pivotal point of needing change in the book of Ruth. So this instruction that's coming from the Lord is for people who also are believing in him and who don't exactly know what it's going to look like on the other side. Let the Lord order your steps. Let God order your steps. Let him guide you. Let him hold you, especially in times of turmoil, especially in times of not understanding how things would be. If you only have a preview of what these actions of faith will lead to, it's okay. The Lord has the rest of the story planned out. And when Naomi and Ruth got to Bethlehem, they had just arrived at the beginning of the barley harvest. So this is something that was perfectly planned out in God's timing. And he's showing me that this right now is also a timing where people are getting a clearer direction about where God is, is aligning them. It pertains to a direction that was not clear uh, previously. It pertains to something where People have been hopeful but did not have an opportunity. Sometimes loss and suffering is the actual activator for the Lord to say, all right, pick up your things and go. 
And if anyone's read the book of Ruth, you'll notice that the other um, daughter-in-law that Naomi had was Orpah. And Orpah, initially she was crying and she was saying, you know, that she would stay with Naomi, but she actually did not go. Only Ruth clung to Naomi. And this is important because when it comes to walking the walk of having faith in Christ, it's not enough that we just show tears and pray and, and say that we're going to do things for the sake of God and, and say that we're going to trust God. It's not enough that we just say these things without actually being in that, without actually taking the leap of faith. And so Orpah was that very big example of someone who was seemingly caring and maybe she did care but she did not ultimately go with Ruth she went back to her people and back to her gods so the Lord reminded me of a parable that Jesus gave and this was in Matthew 21 and this was a parable about a father who speaks to his two sons he tells one to go work in the vineyard and that one says no I won't but then he ends up going and then the other son says I will go but he ends up not going and after this, Jesus asks, which of the two did the will of his father? You know, is it the one who says, I'm not going to go and then ends up going? Or is it the one who says, I am going and then ends up pulling back, withdrawing? So we want to be careful about trusting in the Lord almost, about having faith almost, especially when the Lord's grace is upon you. And I'm seeing that his gentle hand is really working in many people's situations. He wants us to trust that his hand is full of goodness and that we fully surrender to his will and his great purpose for his people. I'm so happy for the individuals who this message is for because I can just tell that the Lord is literally um, just moving people almost in a seamless way. It looks like there's, there's no uh, obstacle in the way and and I love when the Lord does great works like this um, it, it's very relieving to fully trust in him and have his will in your heart to give him full access to every single part of your heart your mind all transactions that you make all decisions that you make all conversations that you are engaged in every single part of your day everything that guides you let it be the Lord first and foremost because he is able to save those who are his and if it brings you closer to him all the better so I pray that this gives you hope and and continues to encourage those individuals who have not seen fruit yet uh, may the Lord continue to bless you and guide you and order your steps in Jesus name God bless.